Hi, I'm Saida Jaffrey. In the Rialto Unified School District, part of our strategic plan states that we will have a culture of high expectations that prepares all students to compete with their peers globally and that every student will achieve success in his or her chosen life endeavors. A big part of that is college. Today on The Bridge Podcast, we welcome two guests to talk about college success in the Rialto Unified School District, including the Early College Program. Thank you for being here, Mr. Joseph Williams. And thank you so much for being here, Kashmila. Kashmila, of course, graduate uh, 2018, Carter High School valedictorian. Triplets, right? Yes. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> and we're going to talk a little bit about that. And Mr. Williams is here because, well, I know you two know each other yes. from 2018 <laughs> because, you Mr. Too. yes, Mr. Williams is also a member of the San Bernardino Community College District. And in 2018, you were the president of the Community College Board when you came to DSAC, District Student Advisory Committee, and started talking and Kashmila was there to the students. Kashmila, first of all, how is med school? Oh, it is different. <laughs> uh, it's a big adjustment. I didn't think it was going to be that big of an adjustment. Uh, uh, however, I thought it was going to be co like college a little bit, but it is just a bunch of information just hitting you all at once. But I'm really enjoying it at the same time. I've met a lot of uh, a lot of new people. And the best part is that I have my sister with me as a first year medical student. Um, so she also graduated from the Rialto Unified School District, as you've mentioned. Mm -hmm. uh, and I really... It is an adjustment, but I am enjoying everything that I'm learning and I'm so grateful uh, to, you know, just to be on this journey. Absolutely. And, you know, w one of the things I wanted to talk about is that when you, well, you have also attended Fitzgerald Elementary yes. School in Coursera yes. Middle School. But one of, one of the things I wanted to talk about, Mr. Williams now is our community, our strategic community agent in the Rialto Unified School District. So he has a big role in making sure that students graduating from the Rialto Unified School District are college bound, university bound, CTE, which is career technical education. So there's so much training. So can you talk a little bit about that, Mr. Williams? Yeah, so um, in my role, well, first, thank you for having me. And it's good to see you again. <laughs> um, in my role as the community agent of strategic partnerships, I am responsible for helping increase in our college going culture. And so we have the Rialto College Start Program. And that program is a unique program because it provides opportunities for students to earn up to 30 college transferable units um, through the community college. It's a partnership with San Bernardino Valley College. The professors come to our high schools and, or they will come to our high schools and teach the courses in the high schools. And so the unique- So, excuse me, I have to ask yes. you, so all high schools, all going three, to yes. yeah, yeah, so they're yeah, going to be going. High school, so actually. they're going to be going to Myler. They will go. The professors will go to Carter. They will go to Rialto High School. They will go to Eisenhower High School and actually teach the courses. Yeah. Now with the Myler students, they'll go to their home school. Okay. They have access. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. And so, when you were a part of the graduating class in 2018, you were a part of the college program. What was it called back then? So it was called Middle College Prep Academy, and okay. the program started. What my class was the first class. It started when I was a freshman. And so we t I took one class during uh, during my freshman year, and then it was two, uh, two classes every year until I graduated. Okay. So, yeah. And what was the benefit of that that you felt? Oh, so many. <laughs> I was so grateful for the opportunity. Number one, we got exposure to college early. We got to see what college classes were going to look like. Um, not only that, it also motivated me more to be like, okay, this is what college looks like. I can do this. Um, another thing that was so beneficial is that I helped me save money. <laughs> so that's that's a big plus because college is very expensive. And myself, I am from a family of seven. So I'm five siblings in total. And then I'm a triplet. So all three of us were going to college at the same oh, time. Oh, wow. And so that's being, a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. Of, it's a lot on our, pa on our parents. Right. And so being a part of this program really alleviated those burdens because we were prov provided those classes free of charge. Okay. And so I'm really grateful for that. Right. And they were free of charge. And so um, not only were we saving a lot of money, we were gaining experience, we were gaining exposure, and we were also networking at the same time. And this is what I'm saying, Kashmila, thank you. It's so important for her to come back and talk about this because there are students now who can benefit 
from the college-bound programs that you're offering from the Rialto Unified School District and educational services, right? Indeed, indeed, indeed. So yeah, so having you back here is just, you know, it's an honor and a pleasure and just hope that students hear your message and just take advantage of the opportunity because like she said, you know, it reduces the time because theoretically they would go into community college as a junior cutting off two years and that's where the savings comes in at. And then we're covering the cost, books, fees and tuition and so um you know your story is and your voice in this is very important so oh, so my I, question no don't be sorry sweetie what, what were you saying and i also wanted to add in actually because of the credits that i had with middle college prep academy program and also um ap credit i was able to enter college as a junior um but i did graduate in the four years and that was because i decided let me minor in something i minored in education actually and that was because of my experience in, in dsac okay. Um, and then also I was doing a capstone project for honors. It was a research project. And, and you're such an, she is such a high achieving young lady and you have so much energy and I love it, Kashmila. But I want to ask you, what is your uh, ultimate goal? You want to get into medicine? Are you specializing in anything? What is it that's your long-term goal? So currently I am a medical student at UCR School of Medicine and my goal is hopefully to become an internal medicine uh, physician. And the reason for that is I want to go into primary care. The Inland Empire lacks a lot of primary care physicians and that leads to a lot of healthcare disparities because you have a lot of diseases that could be prevented early on and they just go undetected. Mm. And so after that, it just progresses too far and you can't co go back from that. And uh, specialists are expensive. So I want to be there to help um, help the Inland Empire, help the population, help the community that helped raise me. Uh, just, I just want to give back. Oh, that's wonderful. That's so warm to hear. And I hope that those watching can see your energy and how genuine you are and how much, how proud we are in the Reality Thank Unified you. School District of you and your success. And not just you, your families, because you have yes. three you have four siblings total, right? I do. So we're yeah. five siblings in total. Oh, so yes, okay. four, uh, five. So it's three of us, we're triplets. Then I have another sister who's going to UCR as well. And I have a brother who is actually attending Casera Middle School at the moment. Excellent. And so I would like to point out that, um, you know, I decided to go into medicine, but my siblings are deciding something else. Right. My oldest sister is also going into medicine. Um, but my other sister, my other triplet, she's actually becoming a school counselor. Oh, wow. So she uh, minored in edu uh, sorry majored in education, and now she's getting her school counseling degree from USC. Excellent. Yeah, and that's because of our experiences here at in the Rialto Unified School District. And I've talked to a lot of my friends, and we're all going into different paths. A lot of people are becoming nurses, speech uh, speech therapists, uh, therapists in general. My cousin is becoming a marriage counselor. My other cousin's in um, health administration. My other cousin's becoming a CPA. And Excellent. so there's a lot of different pathways you can take. And a big part of that is also getting that exposure early on through Middle College Prep Academy. That's great. And I and I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for giving so much information because that is exactly what our parents and our families that are watching the podcast need. And that's why I wanted to ask you also, Mr. Williams, is what you, you explained a little bit about what is early college start uh, program, but juniors, uh, freshmen, Parents who are watching, how do they actually become involved and enroll? And what is the process for that? Yeah, so we're currently um, recruiting from our current 7th grade and 8th grade class. Got it. Um, because we anticipate classes starting January 2024. And so what we're doing now is you should be getting invitations to tour the colleges so that we can just start giving them exposure to the campuses early and each school will have the opportunity to, um, well, the students starting this January will start doing their four-year plans, and the counselors will begin to ask, hey, is this something that you're interested in? And so families just have to express interest through the school, and the student really, you know, and this is a situation where the student, once you commit to doing it, we want to see and support you through completion. And so um, you just inquire through your, your school counselor. All the school counselors in the middle schools have information on the program. And so um, that's the best way to get connected for, to the program. I guess my next question would be also, Mr. Williams, is as a member of the San Bernardino Community College Board trustee, how do you feel that your experience and your skills benefit the students in the Rialto Unified School District? Um, well, just having you here just reminds me of my why. That's the most important part. Um, but, you know, in addition to being a trustee, 
you know, I've run youth-based organizations and um, that experience, one, you know, the access to information that I receive. Um, I'm also a member of the California Community College Board of Governors. We oversee all 116 colleges in the state and the 73 di districts. And so um, the access to the information that I receive helps me understand how to organize resources from different funding sources and how to really think about how our students can benefit from, you know, the range of programs that are out there in the state or whether it be through the county and, um, and then employers, partnerships with employers, really understanding what's happening in our region and how to connect our curricula, how to connect the district's uh, objectives back to what's happening in the bigger picture in our region and then even with our city. And so being a trustee gives me um, you know, a different perspective on things. And so, um, you know, being a youth organizer or a youth development specialist helps me make it practical and really think about how programs benefit, um, you know, our students and, 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 and make sure that they have access to a range of different opportunities. And so in my role, what I have the opportunity to do is to connect our career pathways to employers and, you know, talk about how to make curricula relevant to what folks are going to do when they get out into the workforce. Um, really thinking about, um, you know, what are some real tangible objectives we can begin to set so that we can help students not just think about college, but the range of post-secondary education opportunities. It could be vocational training. And so- So you're I a busy man. Get information about a lot of different <laughs> programs. And so, yeah. Now, and you bring that to a Realty Unified School District yes. as well. So this is very beneficial yeah. for our student body. And I, I just want to say, Kashmila, and I, I remember that when Matthew Peters and Ricardo Carlos, was, they were working and doing some research on this segment of the Bridge Podcast, when- Kashmila was told that Mr. Williams is going to be here. She automatically knew your name. She automatically knew, oh, I know Mr. Joseph Williams from 2018 with DSAC this and the, with the book. Yes, yes, the book <laughs> and the guidance that was provided. So my question to you, Kashmila, is when you get that degree, when you earn your degree, when you become a medical doctor and your doctor, Kashmila Ali, <laughs> I hope you come back to our community of Rialto and give back. Of course, that's the plan. That's the reason why I chose to go to UCR. That's the reason why I chose UCR School of Medicine. It's because I want to stay here in this community. And this is the community I want to serve. Oh, that's wonderful to hear. Thank you so much. I want to appreciate I appreciate you being here. Thank you so much for being here. Thank and thank you, Mr. Williams, for being here. Thank you. Pam. Really appreciate thank this. So and much. it is the Early College Start Program and Educational Services in the Rialto Unified School District. It's going to have so much more information on this in the coming months and start this off in January 2024. Yes. Excellent. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you. Appreciate Thank it. You. And you come back, Kashmila. Of course. Thank okay. you so much. <laughs> Thank you. And I want to thank you for being here on the Bridge Podcast. Until next time, I'm Saida Joffrey. We hope to see you soon. Mm -hmm.